The title is Family Tree. This beech I planted long ago, and down the years I've watched it grow from sapling to mature tree. It matched my growing family. Each year, each child had its own mark, recording heights upon its bark, until they reached maturity and left our home security. The children still return each year, and, sitting in the garden here, they marvel at the wondrous sight, the tree's amazing girth and height, and still quite clear on the bark the faint imprint of every mark. But now the graded marks recall that Jack, at two, was six feet tall. Incredible, but what is more, was eight feet six when only four. And Gwendolyn, we note with glee, topped seven feet when she was three. Her marking at the age of four was higher than the kitchen door. Despite the passing of the years, through all the kisses and the tears, my children still seem young to me when we all gather round our tree. Dartmoor Seasons Springtime, morning, daylight dawning, Sheepdogs search among the rocks. Shepherds, anxious, full of purpose, count the lambs among their flocks. Summer sunshine, sharp-edged skyline, tors outlined in brittle light. Trekkers riding, walkers striding, soaring buzzards wheel in flight. Autumn evening, daylight weakening, Shadows creep across the moor. Sheep come, bleating, shelter-seeking, down onto the valley floor. Lichens, mosses, grow on crosses fashioned by some unknown hand. Winter drabness, mood of sadness, falls upon this ancient land. West Country Beaches And this is in a particular poetic style. Soft wavelets lap the shingly shore, Disturbing sunflies in the rack, Torn free, tossed up from ocean floor. Soft wavelets lap the shingly shore, As seagulls swoop and dive and soar, Then flap inland, come gliding back. Soft wavelets lap the shingly shore, Disturbing sunflies in the rack. Hard, creaming waves race to the strand, beechwood bearing surfers bold and hurtling them towards the sand. Hard, creaming waves race to the strand, inflicting blows upon the land which fashion, shape and sculpt and mould. Hard, creaming waves race to the strand, beechwood bearing surfers bold. Huge rollers crash upon the rocks and thunder into age-old caves, exciting chuff and seagull flocks. Huge rollers crash upon the rocks with force as strong as seismic shocks. When onshore winds enhance the waves, huge rollers crash upon the rocks and thunder into age-old caves. This is my effort at a triolet, which I've called Bluebell Wood. In balmy May, where once we stood and pledged our love forevermore, the flowers were out in Bluebell Wood, in balmy May, where once we stood. The flowers that had the wind withstood were bluebells carpeting the ferny floor, in balmy May, where once we stood and pledged our love forevermore. That day we recognised our love, The blue haze drifted through the fern in dappled shade from trees above. That day we recognised our love. A whispering breeze, a cooing dove created sounds that made us yearn. That day we recognised our love. The blue haze drifted through the fern. And now it's drawing to its close. Our life began in Bluebell Wood. We've lived it as the good Lord chose, and now it's drawing to its close. Despite the worries and the woes, we pulled together as we should, and now it's drawing to its close. Our life 
begun in Bluebell Wood. That was inspired, of course, by my wife. Uh, the last sonnet in the book, no, the last but one, is a funny one. Well, when I say funny, it's, it's very, very serious at first. Valentine's Sonnet. I choose a card that I might send to you, together with a bunch of roses red, a message pouring out my love for you and wishing one day soon we will be bred. The picture on the front is quite subdued, the wording too is in the best of taste. In fact, the cards with total love imbued, the perfect valentine for one so chaste. And now a gift, perhaps of tasteful bling, a ruby, diamond, sapphire or a pearl, a bracelet, pendant, necklace or a ring, a fitting gift to give a special girl. I know that one day you'll be mine, but when? For you are nine and I am only ten.